Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School and we're here for our weekly angel reading for October 19th through the 25th, 2015. So let's just take a moment to take a deep breath to clear our, anything that's on our hearts and our mind and letting go of anything that is not for our best and highest good And <clears throat> they're just giving me a sense of moving in a new direction. Uh, it feels like you're, you're in store for quite a, a new trip in your life. Um, and they're just writing the word year that feeling like this is going to be some of the biggest um, shifts or uh, clarity in terms of clarity, awareness, in terms of things happening and occurring in your life right now. Uh, they're indicating that you have experienced some loss in this year as well. But what you're going to begin to notice as your higher consciousness begins to really move to the forefront and you will experience a, a great shift away from feeling sort of exposed and vulnerable and kind of tied or locked into old patterns that was, was actually causing you to feel vulnerable, things that may have been um, reoccurring from the past when you were young. And so they're saying that these things are going to uh, new opportunities in terms of jobs. Um, they're indicating possibly, they wrote the word boss. So the sense I'm getting is you may become uh, and be promoted to a, a role where you are, are a boss or, and they're writing yes, where or you will um, have a new boss. Some Maybe some of you have had someone in a position of leadership who was not, um, let's just say, not fit for the role or is, has, is, the his or her time has uh, kind of uh, played out and there's a new role that they're going to assume in their own personal lives and so you may be getting someone new uh, in a position so huge shifts here that uh, they seem to be indicating so I just get a sense of where you've been it have to they send and have faith be continue to be faithful even though some of you may be experiencing loss, these loss are, are going to start to turn around for you again. And you're going to start to uh, new forms of, of opportunities, um, you know, gain or wealth in terms of wealth and prosperity. There's going to be um, a sense of, of gain occurring. And this is how they're putting it to me. So um, just be very much, very much faithful. Remember to remain faithful and do not let your anxieties get the best of you. They really want you to center in your heart, center in the love, center your, your attention to love. And... Uh, and, and you will make that connection in your heart. So allow your heart to become the, the voice for you. And, and they're indicating that when you allow your heart to be your voice, it, there are many, many rewarding benefits that you will um, incur if you would allow your heart to become your voice, become your voice of truth, become your anchor, become your guide, all these things. And they said you're going to feel like you're, uh, they wrote the word leg, so it's just like you're, you're going to feel like you're 
going to grow, you know, new legs or you're going to be strengthened in some ways. And they're writing the word beautiful, uh, where beautiful things will begin to occur and uh, in, in place of where fear was what you were experiencing. Okay, so let's take a look at the card, which represents the theme of this week from the Archangel Oracle card deck. Adoring Virtue. Okay, and so this is the Archangel Jophiel, whose name means the beauty of God. And just getting a sense, <clears throat> tuning into her, a great time for you, you know, talking about beauty and love. You know, beauty inspires love. And so, you know, try to keep your focus in this week. Now, the card says here, Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So in this week, you know, as you can always call upon the Archangel Jophiel when you feel like you've just gotten into a rut in your thinking <clears throat> and ask her to kind of beautify your thoughts, to, to point out the, the the beauty of life, to point out the positive aspects of life, where you may be so focused on how things are or have always been rather, and you're not really seeing what they what is what is occurring new and uh, fresh opportunities are available to you, the possibilities. So when we make a monument to our thoughts and our beliefs, you know, it's like we're not available to see and to expect uh, new possibilities and, you know, new things to arrive, new solutions to uh, um, to arrive and for to as answers to our prayers. So don't get stuck in a, in a rut in your thinking, okay? Um, let me just tune in to this card and see... What additional messages um, Archangel Jophiel may have for us? And, you know, it's just getting the sense that of you moving on in a very huge way where you're going to feel more in command. You're going to feel, uh, you're going to be making some decisions that will like leadership that will allow you to take leadership, not only in, in a, a, a position, but within yourself, you're going to feel more in control as you, you know, you're moving away from these patterns of suffering. And the, the thing is to just to really let go. The, the, you know, clinging to these patterns and these beliefs only holds you in in a state of fear, which keeps you from being able to hear and recognize the purpose that is calling you in the, that very exact moment that you are just beating you know yourself up or just sort of going over and over and over again the, the same pattern of fear. Uh, and beliefs that just don't get you anywhere. It's just cycling. So they want you to really be prepared to take action on some new things, some new ideas. Um, don't be afraid to, you know, to sort of pack your bags and, and, and move in a different direction or to move to a new location. And I don't know if this is literal or just symbolic, but there is a sense that you, you're going to be making some changes, and you're, especially as it pertains to your awareness and your, your consciousness. There's going to be some huge changes that have come about for you. So don't, don't hold on to, to yesterday's beliefs and, um, and those things. Let them go. You know, as again, I can only say it, don't make monuments because you know what you know, but to now you you're able to know more. So if you if you make everything fixed from the past and then keep clinging to it, then you're not open to what's coming, 
what, what's available for you to know or experience or to express right now. And this is really, really important for you to understand. So, okay, let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week from the Guardian Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. All right, and so this card is the Seven of Action. Now, you know, this card looks like she's getting prepared, um, you know, for, for a fight, okay? And, or to, to you know, to, to kind of, um, to take a stand uh, on a position, all right, protect yourself. And, and the thing about this card is we never, like in this card, you don't see who is there. Like in the traditional tarot, you just see these uh, six wands coming up. Uh, but you don't see who they're at attached to. And um, very recently, I don't know what I was reading or doing, but the thought came to me, or from what I read, um, is the idea of, well, we don't even know if those wands are an illusion or not. You know, sometimes we can, we create problems. We create, you know, we're so used to being in this, def this defensive mode um, that we we end up anticipating um, and then just expecting and then creating them. And sometimes we, we may act before we even get all the facts or are very clear about what's going on. So, so you know, be in, in the beginning of the week, um, before you just get ready to be prepared to take this similar stance, um, a position that you normally would take um, in uh, an environment that feels familiar to you. Look at things clearly, okay? Be, be, be very clear. Um, make sure you center yourself within your heart and, and, and get the and see the truth that as it pertains to you. Um, and then, and not to others so much, but but really go for what is the truth for you in this moment, okay? And then decide what your plan of action should be. Okay, now let me just take a look at this card and read the message. It says, you're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. So, yes, and so make sure that this is, you know, not don't project everything outwardly um, onto others when it may just be something that you are just dealing with on the inside and you're recreating it without really um, looking, you know, at what's happening and taking the situation is almost like being on automatic pilot and you just react reacting rather than responding so be be clear to and take that word apart as i was I remember in the book uh, conversation with god and they broke that word up to literally react something and you don't want to do that so reacting you want to respond rather where you where you're clear um and you're giving thought and you're being um coming looking at the situation from a fresh perspective and i think that's the, like the theme for this week to really look at things from a fresh perspective let me just tune in and see if there are any additional messages with this card okay and i'm just seeing the number uh four and the angels want you to know that they're surrounding you right now Especially in this time, as they're showing me, when you're feeling a little bit vulnerable. And I feel like this vulnerability has to do with provisions. Um, they just wrote the word food. And I feel as though you are worried about the success of something, something you're working on. For some of you, this may have to do with your your home or your family, and you know you're not quite sure about the decisions you're you're making. Um, but they want you to know that you're going to be taken care of. 
So they don't want you to, to get in your own way and block an opportunity, you know, block yourself from, from going forward with an opportunity because you have a reoccurring fear that you know you've been here before and it played out this way and so you know i, I just know this is going to happen again so why do i should i stick my neck out there um and you know put my head on a chopping block and then be without these things is the sense i'm getting from this and so they want you to to be very careful um to not do this so they want you to look at this from a different perspective, they want you to have a, a fresh outlook. So this could be, I'm just kind of hearing, talk it over with some, some friends or a trusted mentor, somebody who's fresh and new to your situation, maybe someone who doesn't really know you that well and you can just really look at the facts of what you are pursuing or what you're trying to do so they can give you a clearer picture. Someone that, that, that your heart guides you toward okay so um really do this for yourself or you can do it you can do it without the help but i'm just hearing that from them um be, make sure you call upon the angels because they and ask them to kind of present to you um present the truth to you so that you can see it for yourself okay without your 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 fears in in place all right let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week Okay, and this is good. This is the six of action. So, uh, and this card would indicate reward, success, recognition, etc. So, maybe you will discover uh, what the truth in the middle of the week, or you have the clarity that you need, or something will come about that will make you to uh, cause you to feel better, more relaxed. You'll be less stressed, more a little less tied up and ready to do battle and you'll be a lot more open to receiving okay um what's being um sort of offered to you so maybe at the beginning of the week again a sense that maybe you're looking at things a little suspiciously and and in in the middle of the week you're a little bit more open okay so um trust what happens sort of in the middle of the week Okay, and maybe this is an indication that you know this is the beginning of the week is going to be kind of an ebb day, meaning like where you you don't feel a flow. So take time to sort of reflect, uh, be clear, get really centered in your truth, centered in your heart. When you feel like things are kind of going off, it means to regroup and recenter yourself. And but in the middle of the week, it feels like things are going to be flowing for you, and you're going to feel that flow. You're going to feel um, like you can achieve anything or go after what you want, or you're going to feel like ideas are flowing and opportunities are available, and you're going to have this confidence to kind of just go for it, okay? Uh, something also may come through for you that you've been working on. So this is also, a, this card indicates that too. Some Something that you've been working on very hard and putting a lot of your effort and, you know, and something could come through, it could be spiritual, but it could also be something very much related to um, your a project or something you're working on. Let me just tune in to this card and see if I get any additional information. Okay. And the, what they're showing me is a book, and I feel in this sense when it's open that it's about information coming to, to you. So I, I'm feeling that that you're going to get the, uh, the information you need, um, some kind of information that could be in the form of a, um, an answer that you've been looking for, a greater awareness, as I'm seeing a tree. Uh, you, There may be someone or a situation that you've been worried about. Um, you maybe, I feel, I've seen someone like with their back to me, so maybe you feel like somebody had turned their back on you and it was causing you, um, they're writing the word love. Maybe this is a situation where someone and they, that you loved, you may have felt as though they had turned their back on you, betrayed you, or had cut you off from, you know, being in touch with your own truth 
or someone who was not um, very truthful. But I feel like something is going to turn around and maybe whatever you were thinking, you'll know, come to know that it was not that, okay? So, all right. So just hang in there is what they're saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because I'm seeing someone sitting in a high swing, you know, and their feet are just dangling. And when I saw that, it was like, hang in there. So, you know, uh, just keep, just keep, um, just allow yourself, okay? And give, give, allow some, some leeway here um, in your thinking and you'll get the answers you're looking for. All right, so let's take a look at the card, and I'll just read the message. It says, what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, and other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. Okay? So that does confirm what we were talking about a little bit earlier about someone. All right, and let's look at the card for the end of the week. And it's the three of thought, okay? So this card um, usually is indicating that there's something on your mind. And what it's doing is it's throwing off the compass of the heart. So when I see the, when they show, when I, not when they show me, but the traditional card shows um, the sword three swords through a heart and I've often thought about it, and this is what came to me recently because this is the card the suit of the of uh, thoughts and you know the mind and you know there lies the heart in in this card and so it's really about something where you allow your mind to distract the compass of your heart okay and and what it implies, what you may hear most people say, is something dealing with a relationship. It could be, you know, a heartbreak. But the thing is, is that this card indicates that you need, because three is about create creativity and things like this, and manifestation. And so you need to stay focused on, you know, your goals. And this is... And, and so it's better to just forgive so that you can see the truth, so that you're, the compass of your heart and your inner source can be clear to guide you to, and to help you to resolve. So if you're looking for a solution, well, it's only your, your heart's guidance that can give you this from your soul. And so you got to keep your mind clear in order to do that. So, you know, uh, if something happens over the weekend that um, that where you feel like s someone has betrayed you or someone has um, or something has not gone the way you had planned, don't let that get in your way, okay? Keep your heart open and free to tune you in to the next step where you should be looking because you know, is that, that sort of sense when one door closes, another one opens. And I really get this sense that that's what this week is about, is not getting stuck in the shadows and to know that everything is an opportunity. You know, loss, you may think you're losing something, but there's always something to, that for you to gain. The universe, the universe is always focused on gain. So even in the midst of loss, there is something there for you. And so what we have to do is let go, release, forgive, let go of our own our judgments of ourselves or criticism of ourselves. I'm, I'm getting a sense from them that this may do is someone feeling like they failed at some about uh, failed um, at something, and. The, you know, and you think it's like you're going to have to start all over again and you lose, you go into this I'm hopeless and this victimhood situation, scenario. And really, this, there's an opportunity, better, a better opportunity for you, or there's something that you, that you needed to learn or will learn from this situation that you'll be able to make or create something better for yourself. But don't let your mind get distracted 
so that the heart, your compass of your heart cannot do the looking for you, can cannot sift out what that is, you see. So let me just tune in um, and let me just see if there's any additional information about this card. And so they're giving me a sense that in spite of what you f may feel is a failure for you, this is where things begin to take off as, I f as I'm sitting feel like they're, they're showing me the inside of a, um, a cockpit of an airplane that's about to take off, which is my symbol for something big is about to launch, you know, in your life. And and so the thing is, is that they're showing me teeth, <laughs> which is my s a symbol for criticism and judgment, self-judgment. So if you, you know, this is why this card is a, about thoughts, a criticism. So you're going to end up, don't over -critic, don't be overly critical of yourself because that's going to stop you from seeing what's about to take off for you. There's something in this situation that's going to begin something very powerful for you. All right, and so the message in the card says, loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time, and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. So let's just call on the angels right now, Archangel Michael. And let's call upon Archangel Raphael, since I keep seeing this cockpit, and he's also the Archangel for travel, to help you move forward in your along your journey because you know your life is a journey and you want to you don't want to ever um get stuck you know uh -uh, on the side of the road and can't can't move forward you know it, the way to keep your your energy going to keep your fuel to keep your your, your soul and your, your heart fueled is is to stay focused in the love and stay focused on the purpose and the meaning because there, there's always a meaning of, of love and goodwill for you and everything that's occurring. So don't ever, ever give up on yourself and the, your potential as you, are become, as you are experiencing, you are becoming. And every prayer, every thought, desire you have is, is heard and, and the universe is calling you towards it. So some things we go through may not be pleasant, but, you know, even though we attract certain things, the universe still calls us through it, through it. So don't, don't, you know, <laughs> don't squat, <laughs> so, to, so to speak, in a, in a place, you know, of disappointment when the universe is calling you through that, not causing, calling you to, to sit in it and get stuck there. All right, so let's take a look at the card I pulled from the bottom of the deck. And it's the... Um, Traditionally, it would be the hermit card. So spiritual teacher says, this card is titled the spiritual teacher. It says, there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use these moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor or your own if life feels unfulfilled right now. So the, several of the messages that we've already heard is kind of in this card. So, you know, this is going to definitely be a time for you to um, focus on love. So you need time to reflect, to focus on love. Um, and, you know, again, shine your light as an example for others to follow. And then seeking out a spiritual mentor. So when you feel that you need it. Okay, so this is um, a very powerful week. And this card also would indicate um, travel too or moving, but this is going to be an inner journey, an inner journey. And just as we were just talking about that. So this is going to be a week where you are going to go through an inner journey and you will succeed and you will, and you, and you may feel as though you failed, but ultimately there, this is a, this is going to lead to great success for you and uh, things are going to really turn around just be open to the fresh perspective you know look at things 
that you normally would look at, look at it from a different angle or try a new approach. You know, call upon your angels to, to bless you with new insights, spiritual guidance. Seek out those and be very much aware of those who are offering you new insights and new ways. You know, no one, um, you can learn from any anyone, from a child, just watching, being observant. You know, the, the hermit here, being an observer. And this is where the spiritual teacher takes all of, is able to give all that great advice to others because they look at their life experiences and they look, they look through a different lens, okay? So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. And thank you for joining us again this week. And thank you for your comments here on Facebook and on YouTube. And if you'd like an angel reading, feel free to contact me at theangelschool.com which you can find in the description link below, as well as join us on Facebook for the daily cart messages. So until next week, God bless you all.